Hello everyone. Good evening. Welcome to our summer survival product education class. I'm going to wait as some folks come in and join me before we get going tonight. I'm going to set up all my oils. Get everything ready to go. As you're coming into the class, I would love for you to tell me where your family is going on vacation this summer. Where are you guys headed? Where are you going? What do you have planned? What are you up to? Hey, Kate. So tell me where your families are going for summer vacation. And maybe if you're doing staycations, you can tell me what you are gonna be up to while you're on vacation. So we are going Actually, we're not going anywhere in the summer. We are going to um, Europe in the fall, which I'm so excited about. I've been waiting to go back to Europe for so long. That's right, and my son is going out to California all by himself to see his grandparents. He is so psyched about that. Cool, as you're coming on, let me know where you're going this summer, where you're, where's your family traveling to? Hello, hello. And I also wanna invite you to get out an oil for tonight, of course. Um, I have Oola Fun because it's our team theme scent for the summertime. You can never have too much fun in the summer, so I'm going to put some on. It also smells amazing. It has jasmine in it, and oh my gosh, jasmine is like <sighs> so good. So good. So some of you are going to Utah. I saw Outer Banks, Asheville, North Carolina. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Mm. Well, so many people are joining us already. We're, we've got a lot of people already in here, so I'm gonna actually go ahead and get started um, so that we have so much information to go through tonight. Um, I'm gonna try and get to all of it, and we'll just see what we make it through. Maine, Utah, Vegas, cool. So for those of you who are watching the replay and you're not watching it through Facebook, you're watching it through YouTube, um, there are all these comments coming through the screen and unfortunately you won't be able to see them, but I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> I'm actually reading all these cool comments that are coming by. Okay, awesome. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, my name is Christy Collins. I am uh, your diamond leader from Essentially Powerful and I really wanna welcome you to tonight's class on summer survival with Young Living Essential Oils. So these are product education classes that we have done every single month since December of 2012. Um, it's kind of been our way to help teach not only people who are new to oils about how essential oils work in a variety of situations, but we also like to help our existing team members, people who already have Young Living accounts, put their oils to good use, right? Like nobody wants their oils sitting there on the shelf gathering dust. That makes us very sad. So we try to help you see, okay, this is June, it's summertime. How can I pull these babies out and, and use them to really help me? So our team's mission, Essentially Powerful's mission, is to help you take your passion for healthy and natural living, make it your purpose, and help create a path to prosperity for you and your family. And so these classes are something that um, can help you do that. You can share these with anybody that you know. Um, they are here for you to use and share. So one thing I want to mention is I am not a doctor and on Essentially Powerful, we keep everything above the wellness line, as we say, which means that nothing that I'm going to say tonight is going to prescribe, diagnose, treat, or cure. If you want to learn how to really use oils for your family um, and go more in depth and look at health stuff, you want to get your own reference guide, your own reference app on your phone, you want to really become your own best expert. Tonight I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks with you though, um, and they are all using Young Living Essential Oils. So those are the only oils that my family and I use. Um, they're very different than most other essential oils out there. Um, Young Living has something called the seed to seal process, which means that from start, from the time the soil is cultivated to the end, when it is bottled, tested, and shipped out, um, it is impeccably taken care of. And we know that when you use Young Living oils, that, that is all that's in the bottle, essential oils. So why would we care about essential oils in the summertime, right? Like what's the big deal? Why would you want to switch to using essential oils? Well, the average person puts over 300 chemicals on their body every single day. 
every day. Most of those chemicals get applied to your body before breakfast time. And these are chemicals that come from all sorts of products that you're using all the time on yourself, your kids, your pets, right? We've got shampoo, deodorant, soap, um, house cleaners, detergents, candles, air fresheners. Then you've got summertime that comes along and summer's great, right? There's a lot of fun in the summer, but summer presents its own challenges from a toxic living standpoint because in the summer, we're spraying all sorts of toxic stuff on ourselves and our pets and our kids before we go out into the woods to hike, right? We're slathering ourselves with toxic, you know, lotions before we go out into the sun. We are swimming in chlorinated pools all summer long, right? There's just like, there, it's, it's got its own set of natural living challenges. Um, and the cool thing about summer is that essential oils can be a much better way. When you get them from a company like Young Living, you know that they're pure, they're natural, and they're chemical free. And so... I will show you tonight how they're the ultimate multitaskers. We are gonna to talk tonight about using essential oils to beat the heat. We're gonna talk about skin and hair care. We are going to talk about how do you go outside <laughs> and not get annoyed by anything outside. Um, we're gonna talk about getting bikini ready. And if we have time, we'll talk about packing your beach bag, okay? So how does that sound to everybody? Does that sound good? Those topics sound like good ones? Okay, I'm gonna jump in and get to as much of it as I can. So the first thing I wanna talk about, which is kind of ironic given the Boston weather today, which is 51 degrees and rainy, <laughs> but at some point, at some point, the sun will come out and it's gonna get really hot, okay? It's gonna get really hot. So we wanna be prepared for when it gets hot. How do we cool ourselves off, okay? So those of you who have the Young Living Starter Kit, um, a lot of what I'm gonna talk about tonight comes right from your starter kit. And when it comes to cooling down, there's nothing that works better than peppermint essential oil. So you can just simply take some peppermint on your hands and rub it on the back of your neck, and that will kind of pull the heat out and help your body to cool down. Um, what I love to do is to get a glass spray bottle and put a few drops of peppermint in it. You could put some lavender too if you want. Add some water. Um, if you want, you can put in a splash of witch hazel if you want, just to help the essential oils disperse. And then just put the top on and you have this amazing cooling mist. And you can just spray the back of your neck, you can spray your chest, you can spray your legs, whatever part of you is overheating. Um, and it just, it cools you down. It's a lot more convenient than sticking your head in the freezer, which is what I used to do when I used to get really hot. So um, cooling mist, peppermint oil, water, maybe some lavender, maybe some witch hazel, and there you go. Pop it in your bag, keep it, keep it at home. It'll be nice and cool. Let's talk about um, how do you enjoy the outdoors annoyance-free, right? So we're outside a lot here, and um, we live in a very wooded area. And how many of you guys, give me a thumbs up, or however you want, a smiley face, if you are gonna go either hiking camping or doing maybe a bonfire or even just wanting to be outside around dusk time. Anybody plan to do any of those outdoor activities? Give me a thumbs up, give me a smiley face. Let me know if you guys are like us and spending time outside all the time. Yes, okay, lots of thumbs. All right, so here's the thing. Please don't ever spray anything on your body or your children's bodies or your pet's bodies that you would not want yourself, your kids, or your pets to eat. Okay, everything that we put on our skin immediately gets absorbed into our bloodstream. It's as if we're eating it through our skin, okay? So you want to be very mindful of what you put on your body so that you can enjoy being outside annoyance-free. So I'm gonna to talk to you about how to make an outdoor adventure spray, right? Because we don't wanna stay inside all summer. We wanna be able to go outside, but we wanna be able to do that and just feel really comfortable. Okay, so I'm gonna everything that I'm gonna tell you is from the Premium Starter Kit. So you're gonna get a, and I have to look at my recipe because I always forget. So you're gonna get a, a spray bottle, a glass spray bottle, right? Because we always use glass when we're making things with essential oils. Um, maybe like a two ounce glass spray bottle. You can get them off Amazon. They'll come to your home in two days. You are going to put, hold on, I gotta get these oils out. You're gonna put five drops of um, Thieves essential oil. You're going to put five drops of peppermint essential oil. You are going to put five drops of lemon essential oil. 
you are going to put five drops of purification. And which one am I missing? <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> five drops of lavender, okay? And those are the oils you're gonna put into your spray bottle. Now, you can add either water, if you like it to be a spray, or you can add in some carrier oil if you want it to be a little heavier and be able to rub it into your skin. Different ones are gonna work better for different people. I really prefer an oil-based, so I put like either olive oil or sweet almond oil or jojoba oil in with my essential oils. Um, it just works better on my skin. Other people really love just putting water in. And then before you go outside, you just spray yourself down, spray your clothes, you can spray it on your legs, you can spray it on your arms, so super easy. If you really are not wanting to take the time to mix all five together, you could just use purification and call it a day, okay? But it smells really lovely when you use the other ones, so just give that, give that a little try. Um, okay, let's see. What if you are like me <laughs> and you're forgetful and you sometimes forget to put the Outdoor Adventure Spray on before you go outside and then you're outside? Well, and then you come inside and you're like, hmm, what can I do now? Well, you can kind of do like reverse. Reverse an outdoor spray. You could just take some purification and you can apply it wherever you need it on your skin just to have your skin feel nice and calm after you've been outside for a while. Um, let's see. Let's talk about dogs and pets, right? So we just got a puppy. His name is Teddy. He is a Dakota Retriever. He's really cute, but he loves to be outside and... Um, what do you do for dogs? You know, how do you let them enjoy being outside without being annoyed, right? So what you can do is you can take a bandana, a cloth bandana, and you can soak them in different essential oils and soak the bandana for, you can soak it for a couple days if you want, then let it dry out, let it air out, and then put it around your pup. You can also take certain oils and put them on the, the pads of their paws, or even just take the oils on your hands and just rub it over them before they go outside. Okay, so <clears throat> purification is a great blend for your pet. Um, you can also use citronella. This is one that um, we got for free last month as part of the promos, which is really cool. Um, what else can you use? Palo Santo, um, peppermint. Um, you could even use your thieves again. And there is a great blend called Repel Aroma that Young Living makes. It's out of stock right now, but if you have pets and you just want everything in one blend, you'll want to look for that when that comes back in stock because that's specifically designed for animals. Um, let's see. Okay, I want to talk about bees. My husband is keeping bees now, and I'm terrified of bees. And when we moved into our house here, we noticed that... Um, Apparently the hornets really like to make nests in the eaves of our house. So we're trying to kind of be proactive about these. And we have found a tried and true recipe. If we have a situation with a bee or a hornet, this is really, really um, lovely to use immediately. Okay, so what we'll do, we start out with lavender. Okay, lavender is always our go-to for any situation, any circumstance, because not only is it really calming to the physical body, but it really helps calm your emotions down. And if you're like me and you get terrified of bees, it's really nice to have some lavender first, um, you know, to help everyone calm down. Um, and then what we'll do is we will take, where is it? Purification, again, put purification right on there. Purification um, is really helpful. It kind of pulls toxins out. It's very detoxifying. So we apply that. If that's all that you have, you only have your starter kit, those two oils will be really great for post bee and hornet incidents. But I want to tell you about one that's really great, and this one has kind of become our go-to third oil. Basil. Basil essential oil. I don't know why, but it's marvelous for bee and hornet incidents. Okay, so those three, and then sometimes we'll add thieves at the end if it was a really large hornet, really large bee. But usually lavender calms us down, calms the incident, spot down, basil, um, and purification. Really, really great. So I like to have those in my bag or backpack whenever we go hiking um, in case we come upon a bee's nest like we do from time to time. Um, have them right by the back door at the house so that you know the boys just kind of run in and grab what they need. 
really, really great. Um, okay, let's talk about our skin, skin support. So one of the things that I want you guys to Google and look up is the kind of the correlation between sun exposure and antioxidants, okay? So scientists are finding that antioxidants, you've heard so much about them, right? One of the other great things about antioxidants that you might not know is that they actually can help your body kind of form a shield um, for the skin. So um, most of us are not eating clean enough to use antioxidants as sun protection by itself. Um, but the more we can increase our antioxidant uptake throughout the summer months, um, the better foundation our body is going to have. Okay, so when we talk about antioxidants, we have to talk about Ninja Red. All right, these little pouches here, they also come in glass bottles. This is Young Living's antioxidant packed um, super juice. All right, this has wolf, Ninja Wolfberries in it, blueberry juice, plum, cherry, pomegranate, all the fruits that have really, really great antioxidant powers. We drink this all year long, okay, because it supports every system in the body. This is what helps us keep our body super healthy, keeps us um, really operating at top speed. Um, it's great for hair, like my hair grows like weed hair and nails too. Um, but in the summer months, if you're planning on spending a lot of time outside in the sun, why not give your body an extra antioxidant boost from the inside, right? We're always thinking of protecting from the outside. Let's start protecting from the inside, boosting our body's natural support systems. So one of the things that we love to do in the summer with these, um, my oldest son, every day, he will put this in the freezer. He makes it into a push pop by cutting off the top, and then he can just eat it in the summer. And it's great because it tastes really good and it's nice and cool. And you can also throw them like in the blender with some ice and make ninja slushies. So super, super fun. Um, let's see, how else to support the skin? Well, we, we sometimes forget about this, the, the delicate skin on our lips. And lavender essential oil can be a really great thing to put on your skin in the summertime. If you're gonna be out in the sun a lot. Um, lavender lip balm from Young Living, right? For those of us like me who are too lazy to make our own, you can just buy this. You know, put this on your lips before you go out um, for a day at the beach. You can also use the lavender um, hand and body lotion, right? So this is a great one to apply before you go out or certainly when you come back in from being out in the sun. Uh, those of you who have the Art Light Moisturizer from Young Living, they have a great skincare line. And the moisturizer has um, frankincense, um, royal Hawaiian, Hawaiian sandalwood in it, very, very great just to put on every single day before you leave the house. Let's see. Okay, so I wanna share with you one recipe. It is from this book called The Chemical Free Home by Crown Diamond Melissa Pepping. And in it here, at page 16 and 17, she has three steps to summertime fun. And so she has a cool recipe in here for before you head out into the sun, okay? And one thing she, I wanted to read one thing that she has down here at the bottom. I don't know how to pronounce this. Oxybenzone, I think that's how you pronounce it. Oxybenzone is an endocrine disruptor, meaning it imitates estrogen in our bodies. Scientists have made a shocking aquatic life discovery just off the Southern California beaches. A fish known as the honey, horny head turbot, I think that's hysterical, is showing characteristics of male and female traits, including egg cells in their sperm samples. The horny head, horny head turbot, cracks me up every time, has elevated levels of estrogen and high amounts of estrogen mimicking chemicals in the blood and tissues, including oxybenzone. 96.8% of the population has trace amounts or larger of oxybenzone present in their urine, proving that this chemical is absorbed into our bloodstream and tissues as well. Now, it says here, look for oxybenzone or benzonephanin, benzonephanin, I think as ingredients in commonly used commercial sunscreens, okay? So we don't wanna be using regular sunscreens. They're full of all sorts of toxic ingredients. Now, I, we are under SDA compliance and I'm not gonna say that we can use essential oils as sunscreen or that they provide SPF protection, but what I can say is that we can add them to our homemade sun lotions for scent, for smell, okay? And that's where I'm going to leave it. So her step, 
to summertime fun, before you head out, for adults, you would take four ounces of sweet almond oil. If you have a nut allergy, you could use raspberry seed oil instead. You're going to add eight drops of lavender essential oil, two drops of helichrysum essential oil, eight drops of frankincense essential oil, and two drops of peppermint essential oil. And you would shake really well and apply every 30 minutes or sooner with water exposure. She said the important part here is sweet almond oil. Needs to be the base. All right, for kiddos, you take four ounces of sweet almond oil or the raspberry seed oil, four drops of carrot seed essential oil, two drops helichrysum essential oil, eight drops frankincense essential oil, eight drops lavender essential oil, and two drops peppermint essential oil. Those are gonna smell so amazing. And if you see, actually some of these were the same ones that we used in our outdoor spray. So that's kind of nice too, it would almost do double duty. So that's something that you could apply before you head out into the sun. Um, there are so many like sun lotion, homemade sun lotion recipes that you can use and a lot of them will show you different essential oils you can use for scent purposes. So just kind of Google and see which one sounds easiest and best to you, but that one sounds pretty simple to me. Um, let me, before I go into this next part, I would like to see what is, what would you say would be your favorite scent for a lotion that you put on yourself in the summer? Because you know, in the summertime we go out and we start to sweat and then we kind of start to emanate whatever, whatever oils are on us. What would you want to emanate from all the sweaty parts of your body this summer? I would love to see. I just put on jasmine today and I thought, ooh, jasmine would be really nice. I would not wear that near the bees though. That would not go well. So I'm gonna let you guys kind of respond here and I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna look at your responses. Um, sure, the Chemical Free, it's called The Chemical Free Home by Melissa Pepping. Um, you can get it at Life Science Publishing. So, alrighty. Joy, lemongrass, lavender, peppermint, lemon, jasmine, lavender, peppermint or citrus, awesome. Be careful about using citrus oils before you go out into the sun, okay? So citrus oils are photosensitive, sensitive, like lemon, orange, tangerine, um, grapefruit. So if you are applying those topically onto the body, you would want to do those at night. You wouldn't want to slather yourself with citrus oil and then go sit out in the sun, okay? Um, all right, so let's talk about you're coming back in from the sun. You've been at the beach all day. You're coming home. This is the best thing ever for post sun care. It's called Lavaderm. It is a spray. It has lavender oil in it. Um, it has trace minerals in it. Um, it has aloe in it. Super soothing for the skin. Now, this guy, well, let me tell you about it first and then I'll tell you what I was just gonna say. So um, this cools and hydrates the skin um, and you could spray it all over your chest, your back, your face, like anywhere. In fact, I'm gonna put on my face right now. It just, it smells so good. Anywhere on your skin that got sun exposure. Um, if you get a bikini wax and your body's like, whew, girl, what did you do to me? You can spray some of this down there, okay? Um, you can use it to spray, to kind of cool off your face, marvelous. Now, Lavaderm is out of stock right now. Lavaderm is out. It is coming back fairly soon, I believe. But I want to tell you two things about that. First of all, when it comes to Young Living, everything that they make comes from a plant. So it's not like they can just go generate lavender, right? We Young Living does not do synthetic oils. They don't just make oils. They grow oils in the soil, in the ground. So we know that this is a cyclical and seasonal kind of business. And we know that come June, everybody starts to think summer. So everyone's buying lavaderm. So of course it's out of stock. This is why we've started educating all of you, our essentially powerful team members, on seasonal buying and advanced buying. So if you look back on the page, back in April is when we were telling everyone you need to stock up on lavaderm. Because nobody's thinking lavaderm in April, right? But we're trying to teach you guys, if you don't want to have something be out of stock that you really want or need in the summer, you want to buy it in the spring. Okay? And soon we're going to start thinking about the fall. So um, anyway, it will come back. 
But here's the second tip I want to give you about Lavaderm. When there's a seasonal item like this that is really popular and works really well, people are going to buy it up and it will come back in stock and then it may go out again fairly quickly. So don't wait for your next month's order to put it in. If it comes back, you want to order it through Essential Rewards points. Okay, that's one of the cool things about being in the Essential Rewards program is you get points every time you place an order and so you can redeem those for free products. That's so great when something like Lavaderm comes back in stock and you can just redeem your points and ship it out. Easy peasy, okay? So, <clears throat> you notice I've been sharing some things other than oils. And you know, I didn't know for many years that Young Living had anything other than oils. I thought they just sold essential oils. I did not realize they had supplements and they had lotions and things like Lavaderm and Ninja Red. And one of the things I love about Young Living is that you can do something called Essential Rewards, where you can order a customized wellness box to come to your house every single month. You can swap out different products each month, so you can very slowly and gradually build towards a chemical-free home. And every month as you're ordering and you get your wellness box, you also earn points from 10% for the first three months all the way up to 25% of your order back in points. So then you can redeem those for more free products and try more things. So that's what I always recommend that people do when they're looking to change over their lifestyle. You can get a starter kit and that's a great place to start, but that's a starter kit. It's kind of like going to the gym once, you know? If you really want a major health transformation, you have to join the gym and then you have to make an appointment with a personal trainer like several times a week and you have to go to the gym several times a week. Same thing with trying to switch over your lifestyle to a little more toxin free. You know, you can get a starter kit of oils and that's a great start, but if you want to really change your whole entire life and your health, you want to be making changes monthly over and over again, little by little, baby steps. And that's what I love about essential rewards. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. Um, but I just want to mention that about Lavaderm, because if you go to order and it's not here, it's not in stock, that's why. But it will be coming back, and you'll want to snag it. So what do you do if you don't have Lavaderm? Well, you can take your starter kit again, pull out your lavender, pull out your frankincense, and you can put these either straight on your face I like to put them on after my toner because that's when the skin's pH is really ready to accept essential oils and absorb them in. Um, you can put them neat, which is straight, or if you've got sensitive skin and you don't want to apply them neat, you can put them in a glass spray bottle with some water and make a post-sun spritz for your face. Um, let's see. Let's talk for a sec about um, chlorinated pools. How many of you guys have a pool at your home? We, we moved last summer, we have a, um, a pool, but we turned it into a saltwater pool. But even saltwater pools have chlorine in them, right? Like naturally made chlorine. So Google, Google health effects of chlorine, and you'll see why this topic is even coming up, okay? So if you or your kids are going to spend a lot of time in pools this summer, and you're, or even if you do not have filters that remove chlorine from your faucets and your shower water, a couple things you want to try. First of all, Put some coconut oil on the skin before you go swimming, okay? The coconut oil kind of gives an extra layer of protection um, from the chlorine, which strips away that natural um, skin mantle, okay? You can also take um, Young Living Super C supplement, okay? This is a vitamin C chewable supplement. Tastes great. Kids love it. Um, and if you look up vitamin C and chlorine, you'll see that I have to look at my notes. I always forget these technical things. The chemical structure of vitamin C neutralizes chlorine. Okay, so the other thing you can do is you can go back to your starter kit. You can take your Digize, right? Digize likes to digest things, helps you digest things. So, and lemon is a degunker, external and internal degunker. You can put those on the bottom of your feet, okay? And you can rub those on the bottom of your feet. Um, will help to digest and degunk um, any of the toxins from the chlorine. And then the last thing is you could take a bath at the end of the day, detox bath with some Epsom salt, um, and you could throw a little bit of purification in there, a um, little bit of lavender in there as well. So, let's see. So, anytime you meet up, Jill, with a, anytime you meet up with a plant in the forest and rub against it, and then you're very aware of that spot on your body when you get home, purification, pulls toxins out, 
purification. This is going to be your best friend. You're going to want several big bottles, like these, this size bottle, purification this summer. This is going to be one of your best friends. Okay, I'm actually going to post the hair support recipe, this frizzy hair conditioning recipe on the Facebook page because I think that's going to be a lot more time efficient than me reading everything out to you guys. Um, let's talk about bikini ready. Bikini ready. So the season's coming. <laughs> We're going to be bearing it all. Um, and some people are like, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready to put on the suit yet. So you still have a little time. What I encourage you, if you are looking to kind of get to your healthy weight, um, help your metabolism a little bit, maybe curb some appetite, the sleek line from Young Living is tremendous for this. There's kind of something for anyone with any kind of um, taste, right? There's sleek tea. So you could make some iced tea with a sleek tea um, and drink that all day long. You could use the sleek essential oil blend in your water or in your smoothies. You could use the sleek bars, put them in your beach bag or your pool bag and, and take them with you. I love the sleek shakes, right? They're such an easy summertime thing. You throw the sleek shake powder in your blender with some ice and some frozen berries and some almond milk, some chia seeds, and that's a great, great smoothie to keep you going through the morning time. So sleek is kind of your first line of defense with the bikini season. If you want to keep things really simple, you can also just take your citrus oils, like if you have the starter kit, um, you can take your lemon vitality and put that in your water. Um, you could take any of the citrus vitalities, like grapefruit is wonderful, citrus fresh vitality. Um, the promos this month, if you order 100 PV on Essential Rewards, you get a bottle of spearmint vitality, and that would be fabulous um, to support bikini ready. So um, you have so many, so many options. I wanted to talk about the back of your legs. <sighs> The back of the legs is an area that I don't look at all winter long. Like, don't even think about the back of my legs. Don't even think about my calves or my, what are those, the hamstrings. Like, don't even think about those. And then you get in the bathing suit and you, you like kind of look back there and you're like, wow, it looks like a, like a road map back there. <laughs> like, lots of stuff going on back there, right? And so if you are looking to kind of have your leg, the back of your legs, your calves have this like nice, smooth, evenly colored kind of surface, you will want to, to, let's see, well, one of the oils, I don't have them here, one of the oils is part of the promotions this month. If you place a 190 PV order, you will get cypress. Cypress is wonderful for circulation, it helps to keep the blood moving and flowing really well. You can take cypress and you can take lemongrass as well. You can mix those two together. Maybe, you know, use one of your old essential oil bottles, take the label off, soak it with some lemon, remove the label, put in your lemongrass, put in your cypress. You can put a little carrier oil if you want, but you don't have to. And then pop a roller top on top of it and just roll it up and down the back of your legs wherever you need to to help that blood move freely and just keep flowing. Okay? So let's see. Are we having fun? We are almost done. All we have is just packing the beach bag. So <clears throat> let's talk about packing your beach bag before you go out. All right, first of all, let's say it is 4th of July and you are taking your dog with you to the beach and there will be fireworks and your dog does not like fireworks and usually that wrecks your 4th of July. Or you're leaving them home and you know they're gonna be freaking out and the neighbors are gonna you know, call animal control because they're barking. Peace and calming. This is an old bottle, very old bottle. Very beloved. Peace and calming does just what it says. Peace and calming. So if you have dogs that hate thunderstorms or lightning or fireworks or children that don't like, when we go to the beach, there's always a cannon that goes off. Scares the heck out of us, right? Peace and calming on the bottoms of the feet for dogs. The pads of the feet you know, a little bit you could put along their back or their shoulders. I actually, we had a thunderstorm the other night. I just left this outside Teddy's crate. I just put it right outside so, so he could smell it. And if he didn't want to smell it right away, he could just move to the other side of the crate. Um, he loves this. So peace and calming is wonderful to pack for 4th of July time. You also definitely want your Ninja Red and you want your Lavaderm. Okay, for sure. 
The other thing you might want, if you're going to be moisturizing at all, the Lavender Hand and Body Lotion. Really, really, really great. If you have children, you know, right now, this time of year, everyone's getting out of school. They're putting on shorts for the first time. It's summertime. There's like concrete everywhere. They're riding bikes. They're riding scooters. And, you know, stuff happens with kids. Like, <laughs> you know, there's always some kind of scooter, <laughs> scooter incident. So you're going to want to pack your Owie. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's, there's such a glare with my light. Owie. It's one of the kids sense oils. This is a blend of oils. Name says it all. If you have kids that like to apply their own oils, I would suggest putting a roll top on it because then they can just take it and roll it wherever they need to. Wherever for the hours. Um, these Kid Sense oils are diluted for kids age 2 to 12. So they're already diluted with a little bit of carrier oil so you don't have to worry about diluting them yourself. Um, okay, the other thing is summertime, how many of you guys are out and about all day long? Like you start at the picnic and then you go to the beach and then you go to the bonfire and then you go here and you go there and you're like, you go everywhere. And I always see all these people lining up at like Dunkin' Donuts to get their coffee every summer. And I'm like, dude, you don't need coffee. Have Ninja Nitro instead, right? This is a little caffeinated, it's not caffeinated like coffee. It's not going to give you that jittery feeling. This has um, Korean ginseng in it, it has B vitamins, it has choline, which gives you great natural energy, it has the Ningxia wolfberry in it, which it gives the antioxidants. So what this is designed to do is not only help you have good, stable, strong energy, but it also helps your mental focus. So if you're going on road trips, or you're driving back from the beach and you're starting to get tired, just open the little tab right here, there's a little tab, open it and just suck it right down. Ninja Nitro, so good. Um, I have two more. Okay, Helichrysum. If, if you or someone you love goes fishing or camping or barbecuing, anywhere where there might be fishing hooks or knives involved, and if you have blood in your veins, you want to have Helichrysum around. <laughs> Just put it in the bag, put it in your husband's fishing bag, Put it in your beach bag. Hopefully you will never ever need to take it out, but it's very, very good to have on hand just in case. And the last one, do I have it? Oh yes, lavender from the starter kit. So again, if you're gonna be near bonfires or barbecues, anything with fire involved, <laughs> anything with fire involved, especially if you're like me and sometimes I just forget sometimes to use oven mitts. I don't know why. I just forget. Lavender. Lavender, lavender. Let's see. Okay. I think, I think I've given you a lot of information. And some of you might be watching this recording and you're like, oh my gosh, this all sounds so cool, but I don't even have a starter kit yet. If you don't have a starter kit yet, you want to start with your starter kit. Okay? And you can, as you can see, a lot of the things we talked about today can be done with just the oils from your starter kit. So if you'd like to get going, that's the best way to get going. It's 11 of the most popular and most used oils that Young Living has and blends. So you can just go back to the person who sent you this class and say, hey, I'd like to get started. Can you help me? And they'll give you their Young Living member number and help you set up your own account with Young Living so you can get your starter kit on your way and start making some of this fun stuff. Um, if you already have your Young Living account set up, and you're new to Young Living, you may be overwhelmed anyway. You might be like, oh my gosh, I, like, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> you just talked about so many things. Um, the best way to get started, honestly, with all of this is to do sign up for the Essential Rewards program. You can go to the virtual office, log into your account, there's a little button that says Essential Rewards, and you can go in there and set that up. So that rather than buying all of this at once, you can start buying a few things every month. June, July, and August. And by the end of the summer, you're gonna have a really great stash of summertime toolkit oils, and you'll earn points back so that you'll be able to get some free stuff at the end of the summer. So what I wanna do is break down for you what I would get if I were to break this up for the summer, okay? I'll make it easy for you, and I'll tell you kind of what my orders would be. Um, and I just forgot to get something that I wanted to show you guys, oh well. So probably this month, I would start stocking up on some of the sun uh, skin protection. So I would get the Lavender Hand and Body Lotion. Um, when the Lavaderm comes back in stock, I would get several bottles of that. 
So it might not be back in stock yet if you do your essential rewards tonight, but watch for this and redeem your points for this. Um, I would also get a big bottle of purification, at least one. I would get a big bottle of lavender. This is the small one. I would get a big bottle of lavender. I would probably get the lavender lip balm for my lips. Um, and then the last thing that I would get this month would probably, since I tend to overheat a lot, would be peppermint. I get a big bottle of peppermint. So I kind of start out with ways to cool myself down and to also um, help keep my skin really healthy. In July, um, what I would do is I would start with nitro, a box of nitro, get some of those to keep my energy up, and then ninja red. Okay? And just those two things alone more than qualify you for essential rewards. You only have to order $50 of product every month to be able to get that 10 to 25% um, back in points. So really cool. The third month, what I would order is actually not here. I forgot to bring it down. But next month, we're going to be talking all about traveling with oils. That's going to be our next month class. And so you're, I want you to get this. It's coming back in stock apparently the end of next week. Okay, so um, the Bon Voyage travel kit. I forgot to bring it, which is such a shame. It's this cool travel case. It comes with like 10 different products in it. It's $50, 10 different products, all sample sizes that you can carry on to the plane with you. Shampoo, conditioner, um, hand purifier, toothpaste, moisturizer, a lip balm. Like it's got all sorts of cool stuff in there. So write down Bon Voyage travel kit. If it's not in stock, you know, by the time you place your Central Rewards order this month, make sure to keep a lookout for next month. It is, is really, really cool. Um, all right, I actually want to, because I'm so passionate about essential rewards and because I think it is the best way to really change your family's health and really get all the toxins out of your home, I want to offer you guys a little bit of um, a fun freebie tonight, okay? So the first three people who get on essential rewards for the very first time tonight... Okay, so if you're watching the recording, this, will, this won't apply anymore. But tonight, the first three people that were on this live class and get on Essential Rewards are going to get, I'm going to show you, hold on, I forgot my little books. You are going to get a chemical-free home book. Okay, so this is, a, this is a recipe book that has all sorts of great recipes like the sun recipes and it has um, detergents and cleaning recipes, everything to kind of detox your home. I'm also going to give you the chemical free home number two. This one is more like beauty and I don't know, like all sorts of beauty and pampering kind of stuff. I'm also going to give you a book called Fun Easy Recipes with the Starter Kit. And this is 40 recipes that you can make, all DIY stuff, and it's only with the oils from the Starter Kit. So between those three books, you are going to have enough recipes to make stuff from now till the end of time. All right? So here's what you're going to do. Listen to the directions. All right? The first three people who sign up for Essential Rewards tonight, I want you to send an email to my assistant, Nicole. Okay? I'm going to give you her email address. It's Ms. Incredible VA. So M-S Incredible VA at gmail.com. You're going to let her know your name, your Young Living number, your address, and you're going to either send her a little screenshot of your essential rewards order or just kind of let her know, here's what I put in my order, okay? If you're one of the first three, she will email you back and let you know. So if you don't hear from her, that means we've already got our first three, okay? So don't delay. Um, if you're already on Essential Rewards, um, you can get these books. I think they're all on Life Science Publishing. This one's going to look a little different because they redesigned it, so it's not going to look the same. It's got a beautiful like purple color. I have ones from her first batch that she did, so they look, they have a different design. Um, it's Life Science Publishing. That's where you can get these from. And actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to look through all the comments for those of you who are on live as well, because I really treasure you guys being on live, so I'm not here talking to myself. And I'm going to pick one person from all the comments, and you're going to get to win this set as well. Okay? So her email is Ms. Incredible VA. I'm going to put it, I'll put it up in the comments from the video so that you can, you can see it. So when you go to the video and see the header, msincrediblevaatgmail.com.
Okay? All right, cool. So I want to tell you the next class that we have is going to be Monday, July 10th. Usually it's the first uh, Monday of the month, but that's right before 4th of July. And we want you guys all on here. So Monday, July 10th, 7.30 um, p.m. East Coast time. The topic is going to be traveling with oils. So we're going to talk about how do you get them on the plane, what do you take, how do you pack all your oils into a carry-on. We're going to talk about like what do you take if you're going, you know, but just to talk all about vacationing and traveling um, with the oils. All right. So thank you all for being here. This recording will be available on our team page, and we will also be putting it on our team YouTube channel. So if you have folks that you know who are trying to get through the summer and have less toxins and less chemicals in their life, you will be able to send this link to them as an MP3, and they can listen to it because we want these classes not only to educate our team, but to educate anybody who wants to live a chemical-free life, okay? So I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys have a great start to your summer, and I'll see you soon.